I'm Evan Netch. Today we're going to review the X-Series Mark II foils from Cabrina. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you so much if you are subscribed. If you are not, make sure to subscribe. It really helps us. I'm here with Eva Netch, and today we are going to talk about the new X-Series Mark II from Cabrina. Uh, so there was uh, the first X-Series generation and that's basically a build off of that first generation. I would say um, this new generation is basically like they kind of like leaned out the, 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 the profile of the wing. So it is a more efficient wing. It is still uh, a medium aspect. So um, a foil that like rolls like side to side, you know, really well, uh, really fun in the surf. Um, I would say I, I did try the, the 930 quite a bit and it's a really fun uh, foil to, to kite foil or to prone foil. Not as easy to pump out because it's not like that, uh, that of like a high aspect, like super efficient design. Uh, but for pumping, I actually also tried the 2100, which is great for like dog starting, makes it really easy to learn how to pump. In terms of like size, we have the 700, the 930, the 1240, the 1650, and the 2100. So Evan, what uh, design have you tried? Or like what size have you tried yet? I've ridden the 930 and 1240. And I think for me, I actually haven't ridden the 700. I'm pretty excited about the 700 for some toe foiling and some bigger waves and really, really kite foiling. But, um, you know, it's really obvious in design, I think what Cabrina tried to do with these foils. Like you said, they thinned them out. I think they really tried to bring a little more efficiency into these for, for pumping um, for that, for that, from that first generation. They expanded the size with a smaller wing. The smallest used to be a 950 um, and a larger wing, the 2100. So they really try to make, I think, this design profile is really supposed to be the most versatile. It rolls really nice surfing. You still get decent pump. Um, you're not going to have that efficiency you're going to get with the H series or a high aspect wing, um, but it's going to be very user friendly. I think the 1240 for winging um, is like it really felt like it had a lot of potential for myself. Still had good glide, good pumping, but it's going to have a little better roll than a really big high aspect wing. And you know, for myself, I like some of those high aspect wings a lot in those smaller sizes. But when you get to those huge, huge sizes, you start to get a little hindered on the roll. And I would kind of say, you know, even for winging, that's where I would migrate over to maybe some of these X Series Mark II's over some massive, massive high aspect wings that are out there. Um, but yeah, the 930 to me was just super smooth, easy, mellow, but like still had pretty good, you know, pretty good range um, for, for kite foiling. I really liked the kite foiling. I, I rode it winging. Definitely need a little more um, power winging or a little more skill, or you know, I'd like to be in a wave, probably at least like a waist high wave. It felt it felt really nice. Um, but then like the 12, the 1240 was just a much glidier, easier, light wind um, um, foil for, for myself on the wing. But yeah, really really versatile. Some obvious design differences and improvements. I think Cabrina is really trying to go for with the X Series Mark II over the Mark I. But it is on the same platform, right? So you can yeah, still use yeah. the same mast. Um, you still use the same tail wings. You can inter, you can intermix, you know, the H series, the X series, Mark One, um, and 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 the current line. So they really made sure to keep everything, everything modular in in that sense. Yeah, there is a new feature that's pretty nice. Is the side bolt. So basically, um, it used to be three, uh, three bolts on the on the top of the mast, and now it will be two and one side bolt, which just like, it, it just makes it like a lot uh, stiffer you know, basically yeah it just locks um, that connection yeah. in and i'm sure you can look at this and be like well how you know how does that fit on the old mast or whatever um you can just simply take out that that third you know you don't need that center bolt there's a barrel nut in the mast that you pop out and that side bolt goes right through it so you can use that same mast or you can use one mast back and forth from the current h series or you can you know the x series mark ii or the original or the original x series so even with that addition of that side bolt for extra stiffness and rigidity, you don't lose that compatibility, which is really important, I think. Something that's important to understand is um, because it's a, it's a medium aspect uh, foil, you can't compare size by size with something that would be you know, higher aspect like the H-Series. 
So essentially, like that's why, like you were saying, like <coughs> on the nine thirty, you know, winging, you need you need a bit more wind, uh, and and that's because you can like compare it to you know a nine hundred um, high aspect uh, foil. It does um, require like it doesn't produce as much lift, you know, but the the basically you just get more man maneuverability. You can turn tighter, you can turn easier side to side. Uh, so so that's that's the thing is like you know you can't go uh, size by size. Like what would you say um, the 930? Uh, you comparing it to like a, a high aspect toy? They're so different. It's really hard to do that direct comparison. For myself, I would probably say maybe like 700. Yeah, yeah. Um, high aspects. But I think what you said is super important as well because a lot of people on the beach or wherever compare their foils, and it, and it makes sense. It's the easiest statistic that might be the most important statistic for determining how much lift or how fast the foil is, the, 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 the wing size. But that's literally only one stat and there's so much more that makes up a foil than just that surface yeah, area. Yeah. And I agree, a surface area is better one statistic than the span or the cord or, or something else. But you really can't compare a 700 to a 700 or a 1250 to a 1250. They can be completely different. There's so much more that goes into it. So I'd really say, and that, you know, that goes for all foils, all brands, all everything. You can't, you really need to take a look at the, the wingspan, the camber, the, the aspect ratio. There's, it's so techy, it's so hard to look at a foil and say, this one's gonna be easier, harder, or more, less speed or lift. Um, but, but yeah, in, in general, I think, yeah, um, this, you know, a high aspect wing is going to create a little bit more lift per the surface area than these. Um, but I even don't feel comfortable saying that, to be honest, because, you know, sometimes, you know, a, a, a small low aspect can be a little bit thicker and you can really get a ton of that low speed lift. You're not going to have that same efficiency of pumping and light wind ability of gliding through wind lulls, but sometimes you can actually get up just as e easy, yeah, if yeah. not easier. So it's really, it's a really tricky comparison yeah. to make, I think. So in the end, I mean, you really, you know, the best thing is just go give it a try. So if you want to learn more, about this foil, uh, check out the Cabrina website, go to your local Cabrina dealer and hopefully you can, uh, there's maybe a demo, I mean Evan does quite a bit of demos around on the east coast, so um, check out if you can try it, that would be the best, uh, the best uh, way. But like we always do, we are going to leave you on a positive note and today the message is, you know, not trying not to compare ourselves to others, you know, everybody is different and we always do that especially with like social media uh, and, and, and all of that you know maybe you are like learning how to wing and you see on social media this guy you know learn to wing faster than you or, 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 or something but and we always tend to to compare and the effect is like you know we feel bad we kind of like judge ourselves uh, and and maybe that's even like stopping us from you know doing something so always try to like you know, this is your journey. You can be inspired by other people and you should like find inspiration from other people. But but in the end, it is your own journey. And and it's very easy with social media to like get down on ourselves and be like, oh, you know, this guy is amazing. And I suck, you know. Uh. <laughs> it's super true. You don't see the full picture, right? I think lots of times when you're making comparisons, you're just comparing this tiny little, tiny little aspect of somebody that you see and you make, man, They've got it so much better than I do because of this or that, but you don't realize what you have and they might not have or vice versa. So I think comparisons, just like the foils, you can't compare a 700 to 700. Comparisons don't work in general. So just look at everything individually, appreciate what you have, know that you might have a lot that other people don't have and they might have something that you don't have, but hey, we're all, we're all lucky in our own sense. That's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much. We're gonna put the foil in the water, make sure it's fully submerged. And just to practice, you can walk along the dock and just put your hand here and just balance the foil. So once you have a good feel for that, you're gonna pick up a little bit more speed, hop on the board and hopefully pump away. So when you're pumping, if you're too low, it's gonna be kind of inefficient. So you wanna pump up high on your mast. That way you've maximized your efficiency of your foil. 
the higher you go, the more efficient you're gonna be, the longer you're gonna be able to pump. This foil is super efficient for its size. So you can pump for a long time, and get a lot of glide. It's also quite maneuverable. So this is gonna be a good foil for anyone entry level winging, maybe light wind winging conditions um, behind the boat, any of that. And you wanna stay dry, come right into the dock and step off. So that's the X-Series 2100.